So this week, uh, we will talk about uh, the cloud database, uh, data warehouse, and also data link. And finally, our lab, we are going to use a quick site, so Amazon quick site, uh, and BI tool to say that how we can analyze the data from a different from database, actually only from database. Um, uh, so this week's uh, content is kind of like um, FYI, so because there are a lot of stuff that actually behind uh, this week's lecture. Um, so I think in the past I have a wind session that is size um, 480E. And so that's the one week online class and that he called uh, data analytics on AWS. And so I'm not sure that uh, we're going to offer this online class uh, in the next uh, winter. So it is a winter session, winter semester. But if yes, um, I will let you know so that in that class, I will dive deep into those stuff. So that so normally we can we could spend entire week talking about those stuff. So this lecture is just a concentrated um, a lecture that we will touch the surface. So just introduce you the so what is um, cloud database and also what is data data warehouse and also what is data like and also what is uh, BI so business intelligence tool. OK, uh, so actually we have been using uh, the cloud database through the entire semester. So uh, we are using the database that is uh, the service on AWS called Amazon RDS. OK, so Amazon RDS is a cloud uh, relational database service that provides different engines so that it's compatible with different engines. Uh, it has Aurora, so that is uh, um, AWS its own uh, cloud database and that can is compat compatible with uh, MySQL and also PostgreSQL. Uh, it also provides uh, the engine that support MySQL, PostgreSQL and also the other type of the relational databases. Uh, and in this class actually we are using one uh, instance that on RDS so that is that supports uh, PostgreSQL. Uh, so, and as you can see that on AWS, there are multiple different type of the databases in the cloud. And so the one that we are using is a relational database. And um, clearly, we, we should now have a very clear idea what a relational database is. However, relational database is not the only type of the database. So we also have the key value database, which is DynamoDB. We also have the document uh, database uh, on Amazon, it is uh, document DB. And actually, starting from next week, we are going to talk about another document database, so that non relation database that is uh, MongoDB. Okay, and actually, document DB is compatible with MongoDB. Okay, so we will introduce another type of non relational database, database starting from next week. Um, we also have the in-memory database. Um, so in-memory database will provide super fast performance, um, uh, especially for example when you uh, when you like uh, do online shoppings and when you search something in the search bar and it, it will pop up the result very fast. So that is some like the in-memory database. Um, graph database. Um, graph database is. Um, a type database that is used to analyze the relationships, so like the uh, people who knows one with each other, all the social networks, etc., all the interest network, and uh, traditional relational database or the other type of database cannot handle those type of data. So that's why we have this graph database. Um, search database. So it's um, it's more like a search engine. So especially that uh, search for the full text. Uh, so AWS also has this service. And also for the time series database. So for example, if you really, if your focus is a temporal data, and for example, you want to make forecast for the future, 
and you can use this time series database. So those two databases are a pretty brand new uh, service, uh, and also finally the ledger. So those two are a super brand new uh, database, uh, which is based on the quantum um, computer engines. So um, to be honest, I uh, I haven't used those databases yet. So but those are some two new databases that um, released recently. So. I think one thing that you should take out from this slide is that relational database, although is most popular database nowadays, but definitely is not the only one database that exists. Okay, so there are so many other types of databases. And here I just listed those databases that are provided by AWS and the other uh, companies, um, they also have their own uh, different type of database and specifically the the server the service that we are using is RDS so relational database on AWS um, it is a fully managed service so fully managed means that you don't need to worry about the infrastructure so that we don't have a server in JMU so the server is on AWS cloud so that we don't need to worry about the hardware, et cetera. Uh, it provides access to other engines like PostgreSQL. So that is uh, the engine that we are using for, for our class. And database is also um, uh, maintained or installed on different database instance. So you can think that instance as a, a dedicated computer. Okay, so those are the those are the basic building blocks of your RDS. And actually, you can have multiple instances. So in our case, we only have one instance. OK, so that is a uh, this is a DB instance. OK, so this is a DB instance. Uh, you can have multiple instances. For example, um, you have instance one, instance two. And you can connect or read or write to the to the uh, to this instance with Python or with SQL. And however, if this one, so this is the master instance, if this instance failed, so for example, you cannot make connections, and we can have our backup. So in that case, you will make connection to this instance and you will not lose your data. And AWS will make sure that all the data will be backed up Okay, on both instances. So if your master instance failed, you can always have access to your second or backup instance. Uh, so, so those are the isolated um, databases. And you can have automatic backups. So for example, as I said in SQL, uh, there is no undo button. So that, that's why that we need to make a different copies of your database. Okay, so for example that um, on the first day, on the second day, so we have all those different copies of the instance of the of the data, and those data are saved into our S3 buckets. So if you remember that we had used S3 in one of our previous lecture. Um, so if you made mistake, for example, you if you write if you delete some data and if you want, if you want to restore, and you can just restore from those backups. Uh, you can also manually uh, create backups. So snapshot is a is a is another way that we call it backups. Uh, you can have multi availability zones. So AZ zones stand for availability zones of the your uh, database deployment. And actually, you can have multi region uh, backups. So what does that mean? So for example, that our database is in Virginia. Okay. And is in Virginia, and in Virginia they have they divide they have multiple regions, and we don't know exactly where those regions is. So probably one is in the northern Virginia, and the one is in Harrisonburg. Okay, and the reason is that, for example, if there is a an earthquake in Harrisonburg, so we suddenly lose all the elect uh, electricity or internet, and you have 
another physical, another backup in a separate, in a different physical location, geographic location, so that if something happened to Harrisonburg, and you still have your data, you, you still have your backup in Northern Virginia. Okay, so that is super safe that for our data for your data. And so that's a limitation that how uh, how large you can store the data on one single um, DB instance. 